Louisiana residents are in need of aid as they prepare to go through months without power or gas. Joining us now to discuss the aid that is needed is Pastor Jonathan Everett from the Rock of Ages Church in New Orleans. Thank you so much for joining us. Pastor, uh, we just heard a heartbreaking story there, and there's so many more people out there like that gentleman. Uh, Pastor, just tell me exactly what your situation is. We know you're in Dallas right now. Did you evacuate? What happened with you? I did evacuate. Thank you so very much for having us on. Uh, I evacuated after uh, Hurricane Ida. Uh, once we uh, heard that uh, the power won't be restored until a couple of weeks uh, because of the transmissions that, uh, that powered the entire city uh, was down. And so uh, with my mother, who uh, have several illnesses, uh, we had to make sure that we get her out of harm's way for any potential uh, devastating death or anything of that nature. And just looking at the impact that the hurricane made, made not just on the city of New Orleans, but it made to all of our surrounding cities, and to be honest with you, the entire southern part of the state of Louisiana. Well, I'm so happy that you and your family were able to get out of there and be safe. Uh, tell us about your church and how they're working to deliver aid to the survivors. Um, you have different types of things that you're providing. Absolutely. Uh, my church is Rock of Ages Baptist Church in the city of New Orleans, and we're located in the heart of the community. Uh, we've, uh, down through the years, have always been the hand that is the extension of God's heart to the people. Uh, right now, we're currently uh, working on what are the actual needs. And so... There's a lot of wind damage that we have down there, power lines that are down, and so people are not as mobile as people think they are. And so the need right now essential, essentially is some of these essential needs, just water. Uh, there's a shortage of gas throughout our entire uh, city at this moment. And then we have needs such as just non-perishable items. And so our church is galvanizing a lot of our businesses that are in our community so we can do one big uh, event and several events on the ground that we've been trying our best to supply needs to our community. We've also uh, have uh, on what they consider to be the West Bank of New Orleans provided uh, with Heroes of New Orleans, in which I sit on the board, that's a nonprofit uh, with Gregory Ravy. We've been uh, providing hamburgers uh, with partnership with McDonald's to provide hot meals and cooling stations uh, for people who don't have power to get out of the extreme heat uh, at this time. And so it's just several things that we're doing. And, and it's just it, it, every every hurricane bring forth a different need. You know, Hurricane Katrina, uh, the 16th anniversary, here come Hurricane Ida, brought a need for everybody to evacuate. And the water was everywhere. This one is kind of different uh, because it, it alleviated all of our power and took all of our our, our energy plan away. So we're not talking just a power outage in one particular zip code. We're talking about the plant that supply energy to the entire city is down. And I don't think people uh, really allow that to sit in. And so it's it's another need that we're just going to have to overcome. But I believe New Orleans is strong and Louisiana is strong as well. Yeah, the people really are resilient. Um, you talked about the things that they do need. Um, People like to donate, and sometimes they just give whatever they can. But are there things that you really don't need that you don't want to have people taking the time to donate because it's something that you can't use? Exactly. Uh, I, I, I always tell people there are some things that we um, we wrestle with every hurricane, and that is people's, people send clothing. Uh, and that's not one of the things that, that is a necessity at this moment. Uh, people send several other items, uh, such as furniture and all of those type of things. And those are not necessary a necessity at this moment. The bare necessity that every person that are still in the city of New Orleans need right now is water, non-perishable items, and here's the truth, hot meals. So unless we're sending 18 wheelers down there to supply food and supply all of those things, then a lot of those things we really can't use right now because we don't have uh, the bandwidth or the, the power, the electric, nor water to do so. Yeah, people just want to donate and help the way they can, but like yeah. as you said, it's really not useful in certain instances. But yeah. thank you for what you're doing, you and the other church members. Yeah. We appreciate it, and we hope that 